You're listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Today is Monday, November 13th. Paul Kessler, a 69-year-old Jewish man, died following a head injury sustained during a confrontation at a pro-Palestinian demonstration in California. The incident occurred amidst a peaceful pro-Palestinian rally attended by about 75 people. Kessler was demonstrating in support of Israel. Witnesses reported seeing Kessler fall and hit his head. The Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office ruled his death a homicide due to blunt force head injury, but clarified that homicide as a legal term doesn't necessarily imply a crime. The investigation is ongoing, and a 50-year-old suspect was briefly detained but not charged. Israeli forces captured a Hamas stronghold in northern Gaza after a 10-hour firefight. This operation revealed Hamas's tunnel shafts, including one near a kindergarten school. The 933rd Nahal Infantry Brigade of the IDF battled both Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, resulting in multiple casualties, including Ibrahim Abu Makhshib, head of Hamas's anti-tank missile unit. The ongoing conflict following Hamas's attack on Israel on October 7th, causing significant casualties and hostages. Israel's ground operation in Gaza aimed at eradicating Hamas and freeing hostages has led to the discovery of over 130 tunnel entrances. A poll by Rasmussen Reports indicated that a majority of U.S. voters favor Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and oppose a ceasefire with Hamas. Over two-thirds agree with Netanyahu's stance against a ceasefire, viewing it as surrendering to Hamas. The poll also revealed a divide in sympathies, with 59% favoring Israel over the Palestinians. The survey conducted among 995 voters showed a partisan divide, with more Republicans than Democrats sympathizing with Israel. April Hutchinson, a professional female bodybuilder, faced a two-year suspension from the Canadian Powerlifting Union, or CPU, for criticizing the inclusion of men who identify as female in women's sports competitions. She opposed the participation of Anne Andres, a trans-identified athlete who set a national record in a women's bodybuilding event. Hutchinson's comments focused on the physical advantages males have over females in such competitions. Her suspension highlights ongoing debates and legal decisions around gender identity and fairness in sports. If you live in the United States, you know that our country has a problem that seems to go forever unsolved, and it's affecting 60% of Americans. It's the cost of health insurance. Year after year, it just keeps going up and up. But there is a solution. It's called MediShare, the most trusted name in healthcare sharing. With a 98% customer satisfaction rating, their members love being part of an authentic Christian community. If this is your first time hearing about MediShare, they are an affordable Christian alternative to health insurance that could be saving your family hundreds of dollars every single month. Plus, telehealth and telebehavioral counseling are included with every membership. How amazing is that? To learn more about MediShare, check out MediShare.com slash Christian Post now to see how much you could save every month. That's M-E-D-I-S-H-A-R-E dot com slash Christian Post. You can also click the link in this episode's show notes. It's so easy, it literally takes two minutes to calculate your cost savings when compared to your current health insurance provider. Again, that's MediShare.com slash Christian Post, or you can click the link in this episode's description. Our thanks to MediShare for sponsoring this episode. The 1776 Project PAC, an organization aiming to elect conservative school board members in the U.S., reported that 58% of its endorsed candidates won their races in the 2023 general election. This statement countered media reports and a claim by the American Federation of Teachers suggesting a lower success rate. The PAC, which opposes critical race theory and promotes patriotism in education, endorsed 118 candidates, reflecting a broader movement concerned with the content and direction of public school education. The parents of eight-month-old Indy Gregory, suffering from a rare mitochondrial disease, were granted an appeal against a UK court decision to remove her from life support. The appeal delayed the decision, and consideration for transferring Indy to a Vatican-run hospital in Rome for specialist treatment was also on the table. The Italian government granted Indy citizenship, potentially allowing for jurisdictional intervention. The case has drawn significant attention and criticism, with Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney expressing support for Indy's parents' right to seek treatment for their daughter. 
Joseph Matera, in an opinion piece, discussed signs indicating a lack of a biblical worldview among Christians and church ministers. He highlighted several points, including a narrow understanding of government, limited biblical knowledge, reliance on big government for prosperity, and the lack of biblical application in marketplace assignments. You can read this article by clicking the link in today's podcast show notes, which emphasizes a broader interpretation of governance and individual responsibility, contrasting with secular approaches to politics, economics, and societal structures. Pentatonix members Matt Sally and Kevin Alusala, part of the globally recognized a cappella group, view their role in mainstream culture as akin to the biblical figure Daniel, aiming to be lights that showcase the beauty and relevance of the gospel. Despite their fame and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, they don't consider themselves celebrities, but rather messengers of faith through their music. The group, which includes Scott Hoying, Mitch Grassi, and Kristen Maldonado, has released 11 albums and sold over 10 million copies worldwide. You can watch a video clip from Matt and Kevin by clicking the link in today's podcast show notes. Thank you for listening to the Christian Post Daily Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast in your podcast player of choice, Apple Podcasts on iPhone, Spotify on iPhone or Android, or Google Podcasts in your Android device. Don't forget you can download the Edify app by searching for Edify, E-D-I-F-I, in the iPhone or Android app stores. There you can access our entire network of faith-based and uplifting podcasts. You can also subscribe to the Christian Post daily newsletter and get the top headlines every day delivered right to your inbox. You can click the links to download the Edify app or subscribe to the newsletter in the podcast episode description. We would also appreciate a five-star rating and review in the Apple Podcasts app or in Spotify. Thank you for listening. This has been the Christian Post daily podcast.